okay welcome back today we'll be studying about curved mirrors now if I give you a short introduction about curved mirrors uh, you would have seen curved mirrors at home and even at school in the lab now it is like the normal mirror but the way the image appears a bit different and also the ray how it is reflected it is different compared to the normal mirror now if you consider the curved mirror there are two types one is the concave mirror and the convex mirror it is uh, somewhat similar to the lens part okay now here there are few things which is totally opposite to the uh, things we had in the lens part now if you consider the concave mirror it is a curved part consists of curved part and this side you have got a shade the rays fall on towards this side okay the curved part and if you consider the convex if you consider the convex mirror this way the rays fall towards the other side not the curved part the other side okay are you clear with these two sides okay the rays fall towards the curved side on the concave mirror and on the convex mirror the rays fall on the other side okay okay now uh, now since we have we have already covered uh, lenses now considering concave mirror say the concave mirror is this the rays fall on, on towards what side this side okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this and going to draw a sphere now, since this is like a part of a sphere I'm going to draw the sphere now if you consider the sphere the center of the sphere okay the center of the sphere you call it the center of the curvature because this is the curved part this you call as the center of the curvature and this part the center of this mirror you call it as the pole now, all these things are marked here okay now if you join this pole and if you draw a line through this this line is called as the principal axis. This you know even earlier by the lenses part. Principal axis. Okay. That part is done. Now, since this is the center of curvature, I'll call it C. Okay. Now, like the lenses, now for, even for these mirrors, you have a focal point. The focal point of these mirrors is that the distance, the center point of the pole and the center of curvature then the focal point is somewhere here is that part clear okay now considering the convex mirror it looks this way now. this part is shaded now since the curvature is towards this side you have to draw the sphere towards the same side where is the center of curvature the center of the circle and this is the ball let us draw the principal axis where is the focal length then? Yes, it is the center of these two. Okay, is that part clear? Now, th that is all you have to learn. Okay, now one more important thing is that now in lenses, in lenses, when a ray strikes come from one side, the ray can pass through the other side as well. With an angle maybe diverging or converging, it will pass through the other side as well. But in mirrors, it cannot pass right one one side is shaded therefore when a ray strikes towards one side of the mirror it goes through the same side but with certain conditions we'll be studying the conditions for concave mirror and convex mirror separately is that part clear okay okay now let us move on uh, okay now okay now let us move on what are the types of rays available for a concave mirror now if you consider the concave mirror this way let us call this as the focal point and this as the center of curvature c and f so the rays coming through the principal axis will be going through the same axis this is the same for even for lenses and the second type is that for concave mirrors okay the one which comes parallel through the parallel to the principal axis will be going through f that is how F is fo formed. The ones which come parallel to the principal axis will be going through a certain point that you call as F. And the next one is that just the opposite of this. The rays which comes through F will be going through, yeah, will be parallel to the principal axis. Okay. I hope you are clear about this. Okay. And the next type is, this already, this is the same for even for lenses also. 
a ray which comes through C will be traveling through the same path. Okay, and the last part uh, under concave mirror is that say a ray forms an angle with the principal axis, it strikes with an angle with the principal axis, it will reflect through the same angle, making the same angle with the principal axis. This is the principal axis. You call this incident ray and the ray which goes out the reflected ray. The terms are easy, I suppose. Okay. So with the same angle, you call this in since this is the incident ray, you call it I. And since this is the reflected ray, you call it R, the angle. Both should be formed with the principal axis. Now let us study the image formed when the object is placed at certain places. Now since you know all the rays, I hope you will be able to uh, get the image as well. Now you should draw this diagram. In, in order to save time, I have already drawn. I'll just explain you the things, okay? Now first, the object is placed between the mirror and the focal length. The mirror is here, the focal length is here, the object is placed here. Now what are the types of uh, rays you can draw? One is that which comes parallel to the principal axis will be going through F. I have drawn one. The next is I can use whatever I want, okay? The next what I'm going to do is the one which goes through C. Goes through C will be coming through the same point. Now, if I try to extend this side, I know for sure they will not meet. Therefore, I cannot do anything towards this side. So, the only possible way is by extending this side. So, I extend these sides and there is a point where the two rays meet. Here, I get the image. Okay, so the object is placed towards one side, the image is formed towards the other side. Okay, now there are certain properties to be written about the images. Okay, the characteristics of these images. One is that you can say it is upright. Because it is not inverted, you can say upright. The next is that it is magnified, it is larger than the object that is done. And virtual. Now how do we find this? Okay. I'll explain you this part. Now, if you consider the lens, okay, since we have already covered, now if an object is placed onto one side and if the image is formed on the other side, now for lens, if the image is formed on the other side, you call it the real image. But it is just the opposite here. For mirror, if you consider, if you get the image on the other side, you call it virtual. You cannot take that image onto a screen. It is like the normal mirror. Now say you have the normal mirror. So say you look yourself from one side object. Now you will get the image on the other side, right? When you directly look at the mirror, you are seeing yourself on the other side with the same distance. Okay. Now can you take it onto a screen? Can't. Therefore you call it what? Virtual. Same thing happens here. If you get the image on the other side, you call it virtual. Okay, is that clear? Okay, that was placed, the object was placed between the focal length and the uh, mirror. The next is what happens to the image, what happens to the image when the object is placed on the focal length. So here I have placed the focal length. So now uh, what I have to do is I have to draw the rays. Now the one ray that is very famous is that the one which goes parallel to the principal axis will be going through F, this part, okay? The next is I can draw that the rays which goes through C will be coming through the same point without any deviations, okay? So the point which meets, okay, do you have a point where the two rays meet? No, since these two are parallel, whatever the sides I extend, I will not get a point where the two rays meet, okay? Therefore, I call that these two rays will meet somewhere at infinity and the image is formed at infinity. So now you have certain characteristics of this image. One is that it is formed at infinity, okay? Even for lenses, it was the same. Just check it out, okay? And then the other thing is since they says it is forming somewhere here, they, these two, it is forming at infinity. What can you say about the image? It is inverted, right? It is inverted. And also, if you consider it with the object, the image is magnified. So all these characteristics are covered, okay? So you should be able to draw all these diagrams. The next is, what happens to the image 
formed when the object is placed between F and C. So you place an object, now you have certain rays to be drawn. You can use whatever the rays you want. So one, I'll be drawing that the ray which is parallel to the principal axis will be going through F. So I have drawn this diagram so that we can save time. So the next one is, I'm using one more type, okay, that is the ray which goes through F will be parallel to the principal axis, which, which will travel parallel to the principal axis. So I have drawn both the rays, the point where they meet, that is where the image is formed. Okay, so the object is here, image is formed. So image, where is the image formed? It forms beyond C. Okay, it forms beyond C. What are the other characteristics? One is that it is inverted and it is also magnified. And what can you say about the status whether it is real or virtual since it is formed on the same side you can call it it is real okay if it forms on the other side you have to call it virtual was that part clear okay now moving on to the next part that is what happens to the image uh, where the object is placed on c okay this is also um, somewhat similar to the lenses okay now see i place the object here so what are the rays available? I can draw a few rays. One is that the one which is parallel to the principal axis will be traveling through F. So one is drawn here. What is the next ray I can draw? I can draw that the rays which travel through F will be traveling parallel to the principal axis. So is that part done? Okay. Now the point where they meet, that is where the image is formed. So the image is here. Object is here, image is here. This was the same image you got for lenses also. Okay, that means the characteristics. You get the, uh, sorry, uh, you get the same size. Even for lenses, you got the same size. Okay, lenses, it was the same size. Okay, and one is that it is inverted. That is by looking at the diagram, you can say it is inverted. Other is real. Why, what is the reason? Because it forms on the same side. And since this is a mirror, you call it real. Was that part clear? Okay. And the next type, what happens to the image form when the object is placed beyond C? So I place the object somewhere here. So now what I have to do is I have to draw the rays. One is that I can draw that the one which is parallel to the principal axis will be going through F. The next is I can draw whatever I like. Okay. So now the next I'm going to draw is the one which goes through C will be going through in the same direction without any deviations therefore the point which it meets here where I get the image so when comparing you can say it is smaller the image formed is smaller in size it is diminished and it is inverted it is upside down also it is real because this is formed on the same side was that part clear now this if you consider this and the one we drew earlier it is just the opposite. Now see, the object is placed beyond C, the image is formed between F and C. It is just the opposite of what happens to the image when the object is placed between F and C and C, the image is formed beyond C. These two are just the opposite. Okay? Okay. And the last part, what happens to the image formed when the object is at infinity? Now from infinity we'll consider some rays which are traveling parallel to each other okay one is that a parallel ray which coming through f will be going parallel to the principal axis that is one the other is that the ray we consider these two rays parallel to each other okay this comes parallel to the other ray and we'll take the other as the one which is coming through c will be going through the same path so if you consider these two there is a point where it is meeting. So the image is formed where? What is this point? If this is C, the midpoint of F, C is called the F, the focal point. So the image is formed at F. Also, we think that the image at infinity is larger. Okay, therefore, the image formed is diminished. And since it is formed on the same side, you call it real. These are simple uh, reasons, simple things to remember, understand. You should be able to draw the diagrams only. And now let us move on to convex mirror. Now, before I start this part, I'll give you a short thing to memorize, to keep in head. Now, if you consider the lens, 
we had so many diagrams for convex lens and just one diagram for concave lens the lens part okay but here it is just the opposite now for mirrors you have yes one diagram for convex mirror and so many diagrams for concave mirror this the diagrams all together six diagrams we drew it earlier was that part clear okay now convex mirror now you should know the rays possible for a convex mirror okay now you already know what is con con concave mirror the images formed and also the rays that can be used now if you consider the convex mirror this is the convex mirror i shared this part now so you have to assume that the yeah the sphere part is towards this side okay so you towards this side so the c is somewhere here and the f is placed here now some might ask me why can't we draw the f and c on the other side that is because now this is a mirror and this is not a lens now the lens has two parts to be drawn because both sides the ray will travel but here since this is a mirror it can travel only towards one side understand it gets reflected so if this side is f and c so the rays can only be travel towards this side it can only reflect on towards this side the first first type is that the one which comes through the principal axis will be going through the same path the second type is the one which comes parallel to the principal axis will be reflected as if it is going through f clear it as if it is going through f this second and third is just the same the rays which comes towards f will be going parallel as uh, yeah it will be going parallel to the principal axis understand okay these two are just the opposite okay was that part clear now here since this is convex mirror now in concave mirror the uh, rays try to converge now here in convex mirror the rays try to diverge so one which is coming parallel it goes away tries to diverge same thing here okay and the last part is that you already know the rays which come towards C will be going in the same path. Okay, so now already I gave you the introduction, the one which comes here. That is, under convex mirror, you have only one diagram. Let us check what is that. Okay, now say this is my mirror. Okay, the convex mirror is placed here. F and C are marked. I keep the object here. Now wherever you can keep it. You can try these diagrams. You can place it somewhere closer, somewhere here, far away. You can try these diagrams. Now I have to use the rays given here. One is that the one which is parallel to the principal axis, yes, will be going as if it is coming from F. That is one ray diagram. What is the next ray diagram I can draw? The one which falls on C will be going through the same path. Path. Okay. So I have marked two. Now, towards this side, there is no way of joining, right? Even you extend this side, they will not join wherever you extend because this is just diverging. So the only possible way is extending this side. So once it is extended, the joining point is this. This is where the image is formed. So the image is formed between the mirror and between F. Okay, so you have certain properties. One is that this is the object, this is the image, so the image is diminished. Since it is formed on the other side, you can call it virtual. And also it is upright. Okay, so you can try these diagrams, you can place the object uh, at certain places and try where you get the image. Always you will be getting the same image. Okay, so this part is covered. We'll be covering uh, more units. Uh, subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.